we flew to Miami just to eat at the Versace Mansion. Sick and tired of eating at Taco Bell, Applebee's, Cheesecake Factory. We just really wanted a taste of luxury. So we booked a flight the night before because we wanted to eat lunch at a five-star establishment. We in Miami, bitch. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> When we walked in, it was elegant. It felt like I should be wearing a ballroom dress, but I wasn't. Yeah, we were freshly off the plane, greasy, unshowered. We did brush our teeth before the flight, but the, by this point, it felt like a whole new day. We were just crusty. Everybody else was there making it such a moment in their fancy outfits. And I was annoyed. I was like, we're, at, we're eating lunch at the Versace Mansion. We should be wearing fancy outfits. Pre us walking into the Versace mansion, it was a nine out of 10 vibe. I feel like us walking in brought it to a 6.5 out of 10. That's kind of the vibe, right? <laughs> They have an extensive menu of all this like fancy stuff, but we went straight to the lunch menu. <laughs> because that's what looked appetizing to us. They asked us what type of water we wanted, still sparkling, bottled. And Jacob actually said an option they didn't mention tap. But so is them going into the public restroom and filling up with tap water. Is it on? Yeah. Course one, <sighs> coffee and bread. As we said earlier, we were just hanging on our last thread arriving to the Versace mansion. By the way, it's the formal Versace mansion. Like Versace doesn't own it anymore. Gianni Versace resided here. Everything is branded as Versace. So it's still the Versace mansion. I had a mild headache. I felt crusty. So this coffee I was hoping would revive me. Unfortunately, it didn't. It's so funny having to wake up early one day causes all this stress on my body. <laughs> but I was so exhausted. I feel like the coffee didn't hit hard enough. I was like, I want another one. But I didn't ask for another one because I don't want to pay for it. The bread was good though. Oh yeah, we dipped it in oil and... That's what you always got to do when you're at a fancy restaurant. Wow. It's so funny because at the Cheesecake Factory, do they even offer an oil bottle? I think it's just butter packets. But yeah. once, once you get over a certain threshold, there's the big bottles of oil on every table. And I did look in the corner and I saw them refilling the olive oil bottles with vegetable oil. But still, <laughs> it's cool that like they give you the fantasy. I made all that up. But they that probably... could be a possibility. Isn't olive oil ex pretty expensive? Like each time you go to one of these restaurants, you could have a little to-go container and steal some each time. Like if you only stole like this much out of the bottle, I feel like they wouldn't notice. And over time that would add up. The ultimate frugal lifestyle with Lucas Cruikshank. <laughs> <laughs> Horse two. <sighs> I got eggplant. Parmigiana. I got the fried shrimp served with spicy mayo. I just absolutely adored my eggplant parmesan because I never really have eggplant parmesan. But when I do, it makes me realize, wow, I love it. I, I would go down on my knees on a gravel road for six hours to have it in my face. A saint did that. That's how you subconsciously thought of that. Would I become a saint if I did it for food though? No. Cause I'm like helping I'm my sure body be nourished. This saint did it for like humanity. The fried shrimp was great. Don't eat the flour. <laughs> Yeah, it was like frozen Costco food. Do you think they actually fry it there? That's what I want to know. On the website, it says there's like a head chef and stuff. I think that might just go to show that frozen food tastes as good as um, chef made food. Cause it just was the same to me and um, spicy mayo was so good. It was just what I needed to get my body up and running. This is going to be the part of the video where me and Lucas admit we have lived in luxury before this video. <gasps> A few months ago, we went to Miami and we wanted to eat at the Versace Mansion for lunch. So we did. So this is actually our second time eating at the Versace Mansion for lunch. Because <laughs> what is that cool? 
Yeah, sort of become a regular thing. <laughs> we were a little bit disappointed because last time we met a model. Yes, a former Versace male model. He modeled for Versace denim, I'm pretty sure, in the 90s. Do you know like Donatella? I don't even know what I asked. I just asked something about Versace and he was like, oh, let me show you something. And he showed me his model photos from his Versace photo shoot days. He said Gianni Versace noticed him just on the street in Miami and next thing he knew, he was in a massive five-star upper echelon photo shoot for a designer. <laughs> Ever since I heard that story, whenever I leave the house, I put on this face. Because you never know. Yeah, just in case. Of course we both had to get a picture by the pool. Almost everyone at this restaurant, at some point during their lunch, they would go to the pool, take a few photos. Everyone just had their cameras out. And no one, including us, was living in the moment. We just more wanted to post about it on social media and let everyone know we're at the Versace Mansion. So that means that we are valid in this life. We mean something, finally. We saw one girl taking a photo by the pool and whoever she was with had patience because I was eating, enjoying the table, look over it, she was still there. And then she would look at the photos, swipe through them and say, nope, do it again. It's like, if you haven't gotten it by now, 20 minutes in, you're not gonna get it. We need to take more time on our photos. That's why we haven't gotten discovered yet. That could be why. Our waiter brought out a little side of ketchup, so I knew that our main entree was about to come any moment, any second. <laughs> Course three. <sighs> I opted for the chicken a la rotisserie. Basically it's chicken and potatoes. Looking back, I don't know why I got this. It's actually the most boring one on the menu. Like the thing is I actually wanted to get the lobster spaghetti, but this whole lunch was at a set price and the lobster spaghetti adds $15 and I was like, eh. But now looking back, it's like, should have gotten it, you know? I know you should have just bowled out, you, you should have. And so I just ate some basic chicken thing. Like, and also it was on a bone, which added stress. Like I had to cut through it. At one point I was eating eating these tendon things, which I don't think you're supposed to eat. But it was good. As good as just chicken and potatoes can be. I really flopped. If I, I was you, I would have sent it back. Said, no, take out the bone, then give it to me. I know, I'm not gonna do work. Gosh. I got Gianni's prime burger. Do you think Gianni Versace enjoyed burgers? I hope he did. I hope they didn't just name it this because he lived here. I hope he was a bogle person. Like I hope at least twice a week he was eating a bogle. I'm picturing his face right now and I actually get Burger Boy vibes. I hope so. It was kind of cool. It was on like a wood plate. Which, that does add. Yeah. I'm actually the boringest person ever because I also got this the first time we went. So I'm basically just like reliving the first time we went, not trying anything new, not stepping out of my comfort zone, which is hard to grow when you do stuff like that. So I'm stuck in the same position, but I'm trying to advance, but I can't because I keep doing the same thing. I think I regressed from the first time we went. Because first time we went, my appetizer was pizza and my entree was pasta. And I I was living, but now I've regressed to this kind of pathetic shrimp chicken person. I just realized we're both pathetic, <laughs> but we can change. The burger was just good. Like it was, mm. I loved it during the moment, but hours later, I was like, oh my gosh, I actually thought for a few moments that I was gonna throw up. I'm not blaming Gianni's restaurant. I honestly am not, because this has happened multiple times. What I've realized is that if I get a burger from a restaurant establishment, sometimes they're so thick that it makes me, like I, my body can't digest it or something. At the end of the day, isn't the best food food that makes you feel like shit, so. IBS? Doesn't no, everyone have that? everyone says they have that. <laughs> I'm kidding. If you had IBS, you wouldn't be able to handle five guys. <laughs> we forgot to mention that my entree also came in this weird like tray thing. So I think the entrees come in weird things. Little yeah, bit I, I love stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It makes it more fun rather than it just being on a plate. It's like, oh, it's something kind of different. This is yeah. cool. Versace, 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 like Illuminati. Versace. I've only been on a few restaurants that have, that have done this. It's this thing that kind of looks like a pun and they clean your table, take out all the crumbs. And they had to do that for me a few times because I'm just a gross person. They make sure between each course, the tablecloth is set straight, you know, refreshed. This is the night Let me see. Ah, uh, this one looks like it.
Okay, good. Horse four. Horse four. <sighs> We just kept trying to find a way to make these headaches go away. We had the coffee, it didn't go away. We had the appetizer on entree, it didn't go away. So then we went on to the next thing. Maybe consuming alcohol will make the headache go away. I know, it's time to try it. I got the passion in the mansion. It's some vodka, some Prosecco, some syrup, some lemon. It looks like it fits the scenery of being next to a fancy pool so much. So it was perfect. I didn't even care how it tasted because when I was in this environment, it was all about the looks. What type of drink will look best in this setting? What type of food will look best? It was all about the looks, nothing below the surface. Kind of like Lucas was saying, I just wanted to flex on everyone. I wanted people to look at what I was doing and throw up. Be like, you have so much money, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> I know, like I wanted everybody <laughs> in the restaurant to have a YouTube thumbnail faces. <laughs> no one did, but... <laughs> <laughs> I got the 24 karat golden margarita. Like back in the day, there was a gold rush. Oh my God, let's get gold and sell it. Now it's, let's drink it. Who gives a shit? But while you were saying that, I realized that I didn't take a picture of my shit the next day. I should have. Would there have been like little gold reflecting in it? <laughs> Honestly, when I saw your drink, I was grossed out. It looked like poop was on it or something. Makes me feel bigger. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. For some reason, I actually was grossed out looking at the gold. But maybe it was me being jealous. It, I think it was that, because <laughs> yeah, you couldn't might, afford what I was doing. Yeah, it might have been. This probably doesn't have to be said, but the gold tastes like nothing. It doesn't add anything to the drink except for the vibe of it, I guess. You actually have already drank gold because you bought it on Amazon, so I'm assuming this was the same. Hilarious story is that a few years ago, um, like a long time ago, actually not a few years ago, I did a video eating edible gold, and I went back on my Amazon history and I spent $11.14 for this edible gold. I don't know if the gold I got was like completely authentic, but all I'm saying is, let's just be honest. Don't they probably just buy the Amazon gold? That's $10. It lasts for probably a hundred different drinks. I do like how they're committing to the whole Versace image though, you know? I don't know if it was the alcohol or what, but my headache was gone now. I saw people would say, take an Advil, but I think the healthier, more holistic route is the appetizer entree, iced coffee, then alcohol at the Versace Mansion. Yeah. We had already gotten our pool photos, but I noticed a lot of people were bringing their drinks for their photos next to the pool. So I was like, oh, hi, let's do round two with the drinks. I got it. Yes. Like that type of vibe, you know? Lucas kind of ruined my photo. I wanted a whole fantasy of me acting like I'm choosing the camera. I was trying to be the photo director. I guess I wasn't directing, right? Because you didn't understand my fantasy that I wanted to create. Yeah, you didn't really explain it. I thought you were putting the drink up to the camera to do like a transition shot. You know how back in the day you, <laughs> on YouTube, people would always say, okay, see ya. <laughs> I thought that was the energy. I didn't know it was the whole cheersing moment, but. I apologize. I went to the bathroom, so it's time for a Versace Mansion public restroom review. It isn't regular stalls, you get your own little room. They actually even had a shower by the sink, so I don't know if you can just take a shower after dinner, or if they probably don't want you using it. Stained glass windows. There was a bathroom attendant, which I made sure not to use. I didn't have any cash, so I made sure to grab my own paper towels. I would've felt bad if he handed me one and then I didn't tip, you know? Yeah. I noticed in Miami, every bathroom has a bathroom attendant for some reason, which, I personally find annoying. I actually don't find it annoying grabbing a paper towel and putting soap in my hand. So it's kind of just like, yeah. what's the point of it? But. Course five. <sighs> which is obviously dessert time. When the waiter asked, what dessert are you guys thinking? We asked, what are the Daily Chef specials? Mm -hmm. And we both got something from the Daily Chef specials. Was mine a banana pudding? Like a banana pudding parfait. And it also had some gold on it. Even though I was hating on Jacob's Surprise God, I was gonna get to try the gold, you know? I got the brownie and mine also had gold on it. And it's, so like, I was just consuming gold like it was nothing. <laughs> 911, I think I've OD'd on gold. <laughs> How can you go wrong with a gold brownie? It was obviously delicious. I loved my little pudding thing. It had all these different layers. Like there'd be a layer of little crumbs, then you get some banana, then whipped cream. Like it was good. It felt light, which I don't think it was, but like it was just good. It was really good. It actually looks so good to me. I want it right now.
Our lunch was coming to an end at the perfect time because it kind of seemed like a tropical storm was occurring. Like the whole restaurant was covered by a tarp, but you could see it coming down on the sides and the wind was blowing. Versace gods were looking after us. They were like, we're gonna let these boys finish their five course meal. Then the tropical storm is gonna start. Then the check came and it came to $156.26. I wasn't worried though, because I was just gonna put everything on my black card that I just got. Spend everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love living in luxury. Designer brands on my body. Designer blood in my thotties. All I'm gonna say, I'm not getting the COVID vaccine booster. I'm getting the booster to make you rich. Have you seen that event in that? Oh yeah. Don't jab me with Pfizer. Inject gold. <laughs>